Rockstar, Evelyn, Steve. What do you think of Rockstar, Rockstar, Steve? Would you? Who would have said that right there? The first one's a hard to do. Oh, but the bottom of the iron race right here. Let's see how they get out, right? That bus. If the weather's too rough to get the boat in the harbour, then how they're supposed to do a rescue? Whatever boat they use to get out, it's going to be more dodgy, isn't it? But the speed wall is going to have to run in massive. Oh no, what well, over here, Pat? They go eat that excitement, and I walked up me. Unless they've got another boat down here, maybe they've got a new one. Sun's a bit in the way. See you in the way I'm still really good, right? I don't know, like. Oh, if I can put that too. Anybody in the house doing a rare rescue, real big jail on wheels, would you want to go out that way in Fairboat and try and dock with that other boat out there? That big boat normally sits on there. Well, the engine stouts first go. Oh, that probably be electric stout. Oh, they haven't really clipped them on me. They won't have to pull the car. Let me see, they really pull the car. Putting on a wee safety line. The ground is rust. Put your files on it. Overboard, the engine's cut out. This is all exciting here, well, this is all exciting. Drama! Drama! Oh, what about that ring there? The way it's rusted away there. Down there doesn't look too healthy. Hey, how do you pull it, Pat? See, not a lion, no bad, it's going flat. They must have only stayed the one motor. No, I stayed the two. One pole, that's down there. Two poles. Ah, second one, nice and tough, you got three poles. How's she going? You can't hear it going, hey, look over to see the propeller. I'm just turning the water up on that. Hey, not much fancy there, is it? That's something you, you put up the uh, lock out or something like that there, like. I'm saying that this is a lock too, like, but it's all stuff today. Oh, now I see the excitement now, well. Oh, now I see the excitement.
Don't fall, I'm gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. I put the throttle on, it was pointing against the wall, it actually hit the wall. Oh, well, well, it's about to happen. Especially that wee red boy. A headline news. Coloured boy rescued from that phone. I do not know what's going on here, well. <laughs> you always see on the, the adverts of picking off like a rocket, don't you? Like people can see it, the public can see it. Yeah, no, they're on the way now. Oh no, well, excitement's about to happen. What's the line there? She's bored. Excitement's about to happen now, well. They're probably going to the like, button saying they forgot the key. I'm sure if it came to the real thing, it would just be out there, Pip. Just have a wee bit of banter today, ain't it? The NLA is all volunteers. Except for the, I don't know what you call him, the captain or what you call the boy who actually runs the bus. He's, he's fully paid. So you might as well be him driving up the boat out. Well, that boy crashed against the wall. I 
I don't know the most fine tape and like that, but we go pro it'll look like it's 20 miles away. And them boys down there fishing, you're gonna annoy them. All they have to see here now, you wouldn't see them in GoPro. I'm getting the spray of the water there, haven't I? Yeah, the mother man that we carry right there, there it is. This rescue could be in the middle of the night, pitch dark. Four, it might always have to four o'clock in the morning. Ten to four in the morning. It might have ten to four. Maybe Lucy took a little ten to four. Nothing was wrong. It's always ten to four. We've seen a wee bit of excitement going on. We've seen the boat crash against the wall. This could be boat crash too. I just stole the front of the boat, yes. Ah, oh, hell, was out this drive. Yeah, but I've never seen a ship coming up Lock's Boy. There's a ship out there, a green one, a green and white ship. Never all the time I've been here seen a, a proper ship on Lock's Boy. He's probably just done getting the shelter. I got a boy amazing grace. I can see another boat over there too, around the tower. Around the far side. Don't know which boat that is. But you can't fuzz it, I don't know, not that I know of. But I don't see anything else around it, it's just the round tower. Must look at the map sometimes, see if we can get down here. That big ship there is pretty close, there, well. Well, it's been a smooth one, you know. It's hard to tell. But I nice to see that ship go up there. It's turning around on this side of this. It did it turn around, though, it's coming too close. Hey, I might even come into this harbour here, Pip. But if he's taking shelter from the Atlantic. Oh, they do throw his anchor down there. That is shelter for a ship. Ship wouldn't need a harbour. Maybe I don't know, you boys are going out to get it done. You don't, don't, well, it could be all happening here. Yeah, boy, we'll go back down to the wee beach all the way past. Can't keep you standing there. Well, we'll go back down to the beach to watch us here. I know, I will take you to the main street, I will do. 
Well, we're going to see this big boat now, Pet. Big ship coming in. Looks right, we left. It's hard to know what kind of ship it is. Oh, the other light on the move. You can actually hear the engines. The engines sound pretty loud, but stuff going very fast. Boys are standing outside the back. You ain't got one side, you start off, wouldn't you? Look at that ship there now, like. Well, there's some kind of research service ship. Oh, it's a fishing thing, is it? I think it's got the big thing in the back of the net. But that's some type of fishing boats come here. You get down. If that's a fishing boat, that's the type of thing I get down on uh, Kelly Bay. A big mass. It's not a boat, it's like a ship. But he's got a crane on it, and he's got the. Uh, because the thing at the back, where you can hoist things over the back of it. It could be a research ship, maybe they're dropping these submarines and stuff on. Didn't go too far. Well, I'm on down the beach, you can see, you're not seeing nothing here, all you're looking at is now, wow. Well, we're going the beach and you can see the excitement too. Maybe that big ship's got into trouble. You don't know. But it's definitely moving, aren't we? We might be seeing a rescue take place here. I don't know, they just make tour run. Maybe a while the rollers are stuck. I don't know these things. I don't think it's a fishing boat. There's a white lot of accommodation part of the front. I say we research thing. Could it be a thing for checking uh, the lights? I was, we call the Irish crowd that uh, the place in Dublin, the, Dublin is responsible for all the navigation lights in Ireland, north and south, and they've got a big ship where they can actually go and lift the big boys out of the water for maintenance. Well, what could be that ship there, you know? So we say you got your wee boy there in the middle and the lights flashing and it's gone out. Rather than put a man in there, you get that crane, you hoist the whole thing out, you put it in the boat, you fix it on the boat, and you drop it back in again. And they just go around the service all the lights and turn, so it means that they can live on board. Could be that boat, I must look it up in the internet. Well, I'm on this way, Pat, what excitement! Well, Pat, down here, wee man, I know you're bored, what? How you doing? Follow, follow, man! Follow! Oh, follow this way! Yeah, this GoPro here, Pat, is probably a wee dot. I'm probably wasting the cave. Oh. Five minutes or so, they should be beside each other. I don't know if we're going to be a rescue or not. Well, it's funny how them boys are sitting out there and I don't know where else to go anyway. Do a wee mark exercise. Maybe them boys in the boat are going to chuck over a sandbag and they have to go out and fetch it. Or a wee life ring, throw a wee life ring and they'll fetch it and do a wee training thing. I don't know. I'm going to look up the internet now. I, I don't know if it's called Irish Lighthouse. I don't know. I'll well, I'll ask Google. See if they have a green boat. Irish boy. 
water maintenance shift. I wish lights are in the water. Irish Lighthouse Maintenance Shift. You know, so I'm standing, I'm standing that close that it's still. It wasn't blown to you, I'm a type of that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to call Irish Lights. Right, on Google ALV, that is her there boys, that is her. Oh jeez. Not all of us picking it up. That's her there. ALV, Grand Drew, it's probably Gaelic, I don't know. An advanced multifunctional vessel. vessel. So that's that's the Irish ship that goes round the whole of Ireland and fixes all the lights to do with um, navigation. If you got a wee red or green bulb goes out, that's the voice to call there. Or our aid is to navigate the vessel. Or our aid to navigate our aid to navigation vessel ALV whatever it is. Delivered in January 2000. I know what, but see as far as boats go, that's pretty old now. Oh, it was cheap in 2000. Oh, they've been using the tide to bring them in now, that's pretty boy. It was one of the most advanced vessels of its type in the world at the time. It was a prototype for a new build for Trinity House, England and Wales. The Northern Lighthouse Board, Scotland, and the Middle East Navigation Aid Service, M-E-N-A-S. The ILV, whatever it is, is a multifunctional vessel which can operate in difficult sea conditions fit it with class 1 dynamic positioning linked to satellite based navigation system DGBS so basically they want to take a, a boy out of there your, your pilot, your captain can take his hand up and throw and by using that satellite up there in space that thing will stay in the one position if you just say thrusters, rear thrusters, body thrusters, any thrusters it has and I'll use them all to keep that boat in the exact same spot Regardless of what the tide and all do. The vessel's primary function is to place and service over 150 offshore boys, which warn mariners of locations of sandbanks, reefs, and other offshore hazards near shipping routes. The vessel also serves as a helicopter platform for servicing offshore lighthouses and is available to assist state agencies with search and rescue. They wouldn't be coming up there, the light folk right now. They wouldn't be doing a wee practice. He's up this way anyway. So he has to aid search and rescues. And there's Anna and I now, he's going to head out there. Uh, a search and emergency towing, oil pollution control, surveying and offshore da data collection. The ILV is available for hire. Why are you going to hire it? You've got a stag do. There you go. You can hire the thing. Uh, 3.625 tons. Uh, operational draft 4.6 meters. I know. See the folk who watch my YouTube videos. They will want to know this one. The length is 79.69 meters. I reckon if they put that wee crate overboard, they could add a wee bit extra on there. 16.10 meters. Breath motor half thick AFT. I thought I wouldn't use very often, does it? AFT half thick area 300 square meters. Oh, yeah, I don't know. It's going away from us. 
Container capacity 16 TEU single stack. So you can't put one container on top of the other, only single stack containers. Propulsion 3x by 1100 kilowatt. And uh, variable speed AC motors driving two. So basically, it's electric motors. They're using that, uh, they have to use something to go for electric motors. A 1x by 1.21 kilowatt bow thruster. Not off my shaft of there. I can't see this camera, hang on a bit. Might be copyright on this here. Right, we're driving the whole of Ireland. What's the chance of seeing that? What's the chance of seeing that there for you like? All the locks, the way landing rails. Well, probably two months before he's back in Dublin. So that's it now. Well, we've seen the excitement. We're going to Main Street now. We've seen all the excitement of You saying stuff that I bought that way going to Main Street. Is that not history? Well, that's engineering. 